God's promise continues through Isaac. Based on Genesis chapter 21, verses 1 through 7, chapter 23, verses 1 and 2, and Genesis chapter 24. As time passes, Isaac grows into a young man. His father, Abraham, takes him on a trip for several days. God put their faith to the test. It was a very difficult experience, but God was pleased. On their return, Sarah rushes out of the camp to meet them. Isaac, what happened? You left here a boy, but you have returned a man like your father, strong and wise. From my father, I learned the cost of faith, and from God, I learned the reward of faith. In the years that follow, the tribe of Abraham prospers. Then one day, sad news spreads quickly through the camp. Sarah has died. Abraham has seen many, many years. In the midst of grieving for his wife, he plans for his family's future. God has promised that my descendants will outnumber the sand in the desert, which means Isaac must start his family. But Isaac still grieves for his mother. Every day he goes alone into the wilderness to mourn for his mother. If only he had a wife to comfort him. Abraham calls his most trusted servant. My servant, before I die, I want to see Isaac happily married, but he must marry a woman from my own people. Go to Nahor and bring back a wife for Isaac. Abraham's servant gathers a long caravan. He leads it across the desert and finally reaches the city of Nahor, where Abraham's relatives live. What a big city! How will I ever find the right wife for the man who will be chief of our tribe someday? Abraham's servant reaches Nahor in the evening. He rests by the well just outside town and sees young women of the city coming to get water. God, let this be the test. Whoever gives water to me and my camels will be Isaac's bride. She's beautiful. Is she the one? Miss, could I please have a drink? I'll be glad to get you a drink. And I'll draw water for your camels too. She is the one. When the girl finishes watering the camels, Abraham's servant gives her a nose ring and gold bracelets. What is your name? Do you think there is room for me to stay in your father's house? <gasps> These are beautiful. My name is Rebecca. We have plenty of room for you at our house. Just a minute. Rebecca runs to tell her family. When she shows them the presents, her brother Laban goes out to meet Abraham's servant. Come with me. My father has room for you and your caravan. Abraham's servant tells everyone who he is and explains that God has chosen Rebekah to be the bride of Isaac, son and heir of Abraham, her great uncle. Take Rebekah to be the wife of my uncle's son. Do it just the way the Lord has said. Early the next morning, the caravan gets ready to return to Abraham's camp. Rebecca says goodbye to her family, and the caravan begins its long journey. Days later, the caravan nears Abraham's camp. Rebecca wonders, What will Isaac be like? Tall and strong like a chief's son? I wonder if he will love me. Who is the man coming to meet us? That's Isaac. He is handsome. Is this the woman I'm going to marry? When Isaac sees Rebecca, he falls in love with her at once and takes her to his father for his blessing. They get married immediately 
and the whole camp rejoices that God continues to watch over Abraham's family.